Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Chris and these are YouTube users who are trying to tear apart an apple with hands. No, don't think that they're awkward, they just want to repeat the new challenge and the main idea of this challenge is damaging fruit. I hope that Apple company do not relate to this mess. And these are not all of the news for today, just please keep on watching and you will get to know. Which Panoram camera has the same price as an apartment in Moscow? Will Sony PlayStation headset work without any console? And who has set iPhone users on the bottom of the seat? Apple lovers can be very happy because of a new virtual social net where they can hang out with friends in a very unexpected places. The VTime has a unique social net that has a bunch of different functions. The users can browse photos and videos in 360 degrees, chat and create an avatar for their profile that will look very similar to the user's appearance. Users can change the look of their avatar by adding a makeup or changing the clues. One of the very interesting things is that this app gives an opportunity to create a multiple chat on the bottom of the sea or in the space. I think that sales managers will appreciate this multiple chat function so much. Because while the users will enjoy the atmosphere, managers can sell off some other products to them. So far, the app is available not only for iPhone, but also for Android, Oculus Rift and Samsung Gear VR. Meanwhile, Facebook Social Net pleased the users with a new feature that will support online broadcast in 360 degrees. So, if you are a Facebook user, you will be able to show your life in 360 degrees, which is awesome. This cool news were announced on an official blog of the company. With this option, Facebook users will not only broadcast the exciting moments of their life in 360 degrees, but they will also be able to watch the world news. The first one who wants to try online broadcast is going to be National Geographic. This channel wants to make the broadcast from the research station, which simulates Mars planet. This Facebook function will be available in 2017. So, you can already start looking for a new 360 degrees camera if you want to try this interesting function out as it will be released. By the way, let's talk about cameras. Because not that long time ago, there was a new 360 degrees camera release for online broadcast. The camera is definitely awesome and the price is 15 times less compared to Nokia Ozo. For those who have no idea about Nokia Ozo camera, I would like to clarify that the price is just about $45,000. This is almost like getting an apartment on the outskirts of Moscow. New Aura 4i camera has similar functions and cost only $3,500. The Aura 5i camera has a 360 degrees view, 4K resolution, 3D audio and all of this you can use for live broadcasts. Also, the camera can broadcast everything on a YouTube or whatever it's needed. Recorded audio and video can be easily stitched with the help of a special program Video Stitch. The price is not that good as it could be, but cheaper models cannot guarantee us high quality and well done work. The New York Times has also got a 360 degrees camera and has already started making some cool virtual projects one by one. In the last one, the company has even involved some of very famous celebrities, such as Kristen Stewart and Natalie Portman. The Great Performance Project is a series of nine short films in noir. Each episode attends a different celebrity. The most popular is a video with Kristen Stewart, Natalie Portman and Sasha Lane. All the performances are happening in a mysterious bar, where each actor plays its own unique story. So, if you are interested, go to YouTube and check it out. It is better to do it having a virtuality glasses on because you will get the effect of being present on a set. Samsung company has also made an experiment, the company rolls Americans on the Santa sleigh. Well, what else all we can do when it's almost about the New Year's Eve? The new Samsung project that is called the night before represents itself a hybrid of 5D camera and Samsung Gear VR virtuality glasses. The new experiment has become popular from the very beginning. 
Two of the attractions are available in New York City, one in Los Angeles, and all of them are for free. If you're a Samsung Gear VR holder, you can also try to take a part in such experiment on an official website of the company. Seems like Samsung company is trying to make amends for the exploding Galaxy Note 7. By the way, the company has figured out how to prevent explosions of devices those are still in use and how to bring Galaxy Note 7 devices down on a distance. As you know, the Samsung device has undermined the reputation of the manufacturer so bad. A couple of months ago, Samsung launched a free smartphone replacement. So far, about 93% of smartphones have been returned to the manufacturer. The others are still in use and they will be disabled with a new update. The new update will be available on the 19th of December. And for those who still want to use this hot device, we would like to give a necessary advice to return it to the manufacturer, otherwise it will turn into a useless shovel very soon. The next news is a live hack. If you surf the internet, you will find some information about how to make Sony PlayStation VR headset work without any console. Interesting? Then check it out! As you know, Sony PlayStation VR works in tandem with headset and console. And if you would like to get two of these items at once, the price will not be that small as expected. But some people got an idea how to connect the PlayStation VR to a personal computer and make it work. For this, you just need a Trinos program, Sony VR headset, billion of wires and a personal computer. As a result, the headset will work but the image will still have some delays. <laughs> Interesting that when the company found out about this life hack, they decided to do not block this program, but rather adopt it to the system. And that would be really cool. Well, and last but not least news are about virtual reality games. And if you like space, robots and shooter games, this is definitely what will make you happy. The new ROM extraction game was released specially for the Oculus Touch controllers. This game was made on the Unreal Engine platform and the main idea of this game is killing terrible robots that attacks from all the sides. An interesting thing about this game is that the gamer can slow the time down and this option is called Reflex. With this function, you can confuse the enemy aliens. The Roman structure game can remind you a raw data shooter game. But the price of the Rome extraction game is two times cheaper. So far, the game is available for HTC Vive and Oculus Rift. Oh my god, there's so many! These were all of the news for today. Thumbs up if you liked it, please leave your comments down below and press the subscribe button if you would like to be in the best mood all the time and know what kind of game to add on your wish list. Make the world better, smile and see you later, bye! If you would like to know more about virtual reality and video games, click here and you will see cool news from 3DVR.